Well, there's been new developments in the crimes committed by the NSA. That's right. This is not a story about Edward Snowden or where he's going or who's going to, where he's going to stay. This is about the crimes committed by the NSA. And some people at the Black Hat Conference understand that. Our nation takes stopping terrorism as one of the most important things. Freedom! Exactly. No, I'm saying I don't trust you. <laughs> you lied to Congress. Why, why would we believe you're not lying to us right now? Read the Constitution. I have. Well, General Alexander has read the Constitution. He just doesn't care what it says. And when he says this is about freedom, he's lying about that as well, just as he lied to Congress. Now, the Black Hat Conference is a place where both hackers and the government go and show each other how to exploit systems because, of course, the government wants to know how to do that themselves. And, of course, there's a legitimate reason for looking at how people break in so you can protect against it. But as Aaron Schwartz has pointed out, the feds fund most of the exploits. The federal government is the biggest creator of malware, and then they use that to scare us into strangling the Internet and taking away our Internet freedoms. Now, there was another hacker that everybody expected to be presenting there, uh, Barnaby Jack, and he has in past years shown some remarkable things at Black Hat. He was going to talk about how easy it is to hack into medical devices and to even kill people. But of course, that's a multi-billion dollar industry, medical devices, and it would not serve a lot of people's interest to have that information get out. He died just before the conference under mysterious circumstances. Now, the mainstream media will cover the story, story of Edward Snowden, and they'll kind of turn it into a Where's Waldo type of story, but it's about a lot more than that. Snowden's father calls out Obama on Nuremberg crimes. This is written by Bruce Fine and Snowden's father, and it says, These I protest are not mere second-class rights, but belong in the category of indispensable freedoms. Among deprivations of rights, none is so effective in cowing a population crushing the spirit of the individual, and putting terror in every heart. Uncontrolled search and seizure is one of the first and most effective weapons in the arsenal of every arbitrary government. That's what's going on, folks. This is how tyrants work, and this is why it is expressly forbidden in the Constitution, in the Fourth Amendment, and others. The types of things that we're seeing on a daily basis in many, many areas, but especially with this NSA story, with a dragnet that they're doing. They have to go before a judge and explain the reason why they are going to search someone or search someone's things or their papers or their personal property or their writings. That has to be put before a judge and a judge has to agree. But instead they have done that to every American citizen. And it doesn't matter what degree they have done it to. They've done it. It breaks the law. Now, the same people that broke the law are now asking that Edward Snowden be extradited out of Russia. And Russia says that they're, they've rejected out of hand Holder's extradition request for Snowden. And this is not just a partisan thing. This is something that former leaders of both parties have come out in opposition to this. Former President Jimmy Carter says, America now has no functioning democracy. And on the GOP side, former Senator Gordon Humphrey from New Hampshire wrote a very eloquent piece to, uh, to Snowden himself and to The uh, Guardian, which reported it. He said, I object to the monumentally disproportionate campaign being waged by the U.S. government against Edward Snowden, while no effort is being made to identify, remove from office, and bring to justice those officials who have abused power seriously and repeatedly violating the Constitution of the U.S. and the rights of millions of unsuspecting citizens. Well, the officials who are abusing power and ignoring the Constitution includes Eric Holder and Obama, because if they do not bring to justice those who commit crimes at the NSA and the CIA, they are then complicit in those crimes. They are then accessories to those crimes. So this is, these are the leaders of the previous generation of politicians talking about how America is turning into a banana boat republic. This is, uh, it, it's incredible what, what we're seeing here in terms of, the, of ignoring the Constitution and breaking the law and allowing that to happen. That's not, they're not even concerned with that. They just want to make this about shutting down whistleblowers who are going to explode, expose further criminal activity from them. Now we have a quote here from Henry David Thoreau. 
And he says, disobedience is the true foundation of liberty. The obedient must be slaves. Well, Thoreau was heavily quoted in that letter written by Bruce Fine to Obama and to Eric Holder. Now, coming up after the break, we have an interview with the grand prize winner from Operation Paul Revere, the $100,000 prize winner. So stay tuned. We want to hear all about his film and how he made it and why. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right oh, there's now. another one. Another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie, at Infowars.com. And remember, every order at Infowarsstore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. 